What we say is not investment advice. In each video, we teach you something new and tell you how to invest. Our channel has been open to enable you to take both your education and financial freedom in your hands. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and share my videos so that the demand for coins is high so that you can earn well. Enjoy watching. The floor is yours I think, I think it's insane. I mean come on now, they sell this thing to the people. Oh, you know, we're going to be doing this on a temporary basis and it'll be over in a couple of weeks and then all of a sudden it's like well hold on a second you know. How about no? How about we're going to be not only you know, keeping it going longer but we're going to double it. It's not going anywhere. In my view this is the way things are going to go. Look, we understand the situation here. I think it's pretty clear. Everybody I think who has even the slightest understanding of what's going on here, how the dead hyper bubble is out of control. It's not going to stop until it does, okay? Watching the instability in the debt market, looking at global bond yields, watching this knee-jerk higher reaction into the dollar because of debt market instability here. And it's not just me and you saying this stuff anymore. It's a lot of people. It's getting, it's getting coverage here on the mainstream media. I mean what do we hear from Market Watch today? Uh, bond market crash is like imminent. That's what they're saying. There was an opinion piece they had I, I love hearing this stuff. When you when you when you see the mainstream talking about stuff that you've been saying for like forever. Well you know I think that's a positive thing. I just wonder what's behind it though right? Why now why you know like they didn't know they would is an issue here for like a really really long time. We've been talking about treasury market illiquidity since what 2015 to 1014 long time, a long time, a long time. You know look it's just the game that they play and that's okay you look. The issue I think is most people have no clue. People like you and me and the people that follow all work, they're 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 rare. They're very rare people that understand the financial system at its core, how it works, why it works, why things are being driven the way they are. A game that is played via the propaganda ministry along with that everything else you know it's a rare thing to understand it and I, I think that's what makes our work. You and me and a couple other people it's so so important is because we're able to put it together to people in a way that can get it. You can't learn this stuff in business school. I don't think you know many people write to me and show you get the same thing. People write they say how do you learn this stuff? Well you know I went to business school and I was never taught this. But it's so obvious now that I see it. You know, it's, I don't know what it is. Some people are just more in tune to it. And I'd like to think that the people that follow our work get it because you and I put it into a perspective that they can understand and try. Well, you're a car guy, so let me. And so if you can share your perspective on this, because it seems like central banks and governments have their feet on the brakes to the floor, and the gas to the floor at the same time? Oh. If you did that you're trying to drive a car, what would that do to the car? Well, it wouldn't wouldn't function too well now, would it? I mean, I think that's gone. But what did Jenny Yellen? Did you hear what she just said? They just interviewed her. Oh, the financial system is functioning fine. Ignore everybody. Me, you. All the warnings from the IMF, the World Bank. I mean, we're getting warnings here from the IMF. You know, I call them International Mafia Fun. I think you might refer to the one that as well, you know and the World Bank and all these other people that you know. Ignore everybody. President Waller. I don't see any problems with liquidity. Oh, no. It's all fine and perfect. It's lovely. Just ignore it. You know, look, they, it's just, I hate it because they can't tell the truth. We can't get the truth anywhere anymore. And that's why, again, I think channels like yours, and I would like to think mine are valuable to people because they can they see it before their own eyes, okay? They're being told one thing. And then of course, you know, they listen to the mainstream and, well, hold on a minute. That's not what Lynette said. That's not what Greg said. So like what's the situation, you know? But then they see it and it becomes clear to them once you open their eyes as to what's actually going on here. So you're absolutely right there. You know, it's always double talk here. Central banks talking about all we're going to be raising rates and that's the issue here. Lower the rates are too low and that's why inflation is skyrockets. What we're going to do here is raise rates, raise them, raise their rates and guess what? Inflation continues to go higher and it's just not going to stop. But this is what they're doing. This is what they sell this stuff to, the people who have no idea. They think it sounds good because this this guy and or this woman wearing a nice outfit and a nice tie with their hair done. Oh there's they must be right because they look like an authority figure. But no, it's just garbage how they package this stuff, sell it to people and they tell them, well don't worry about it. We got it all under control and nothing could be further from the truth in my view. You know, my perspective is pretty simple. Central banks run it all. They're running the entire show. The rest of it is just a sideshow act. Theater, right? And you know, look. I would like to think the main thing, the real reason why I'm out here, and I think you, is because we're trying to enlighten people as to what is happening, where we're going here.
And this is a game of being complete information. You know, it always is. It always is. You and me. What we do is we look at the overall picture, say, okay, what are the most likely outcomes, and then we got to fill in blanks. I mean, you know, nothing. Obviously, everything's changing. It's very liquid. It's very fluid. You know, we could make errors in what we say because we're, we're trying, but we, we don't do it on purpose. Obviously, we're trying to come up with the best scenario and no one can be 100% right 100% of the time. As long as you're right most of the time I think we'll be okay. But the fact of the matter is this game that we play, we're participating is complicated. So we got to fill in those blanks and, you know, that's where this becomes an art form. I think in and again, I think people get that for the most part. At least I hope so. But look, I think that what we are making a difference. We've both been out here for quite a long time. We we have relatively large followings. And and they're loyal. Your fault. Your followers are so loyal to you. It's they write to me what they love you. They literally love you. They're like, oh my goodness, great. Did you see this piece and you see what she's talking about over here? I mean, that's fantastic that 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 says that you're making a difference with these people in their lives and they're able to understand these things and they're out saying, hey, did you hear this? Did you? It just makes sense to you. Look, I always tell people who are new, especially to my work, is if I'm making sense to you fantastic. If I. If you're connecting with me, that's great. If I'm not, find somebody who is. But as long as you're getting awake, you know, look, we're not going to connect with everybody, unfortunately. I wish we could, but that's not the way it works. We have to, you know, you got to get on the same wavelength as, as, all frequency as as another guy or another girl who sees things your way. And it's a rare thing. I believe in this environment because people are so dumbed down, brainwashed, and they're just propagandized every freaking day of their life. So when they hear what is the truth, what do they do? What's their first reaction is generally they get angry. They get angry first, right? And then they get it and say hold on a minute, you know what? That makes sense. I think I'm gonna go back and listen to Lynette more. I'm gonna go back and listen to Greg more. But initial people's initial reaction, I think, to hearing something that maybe they feel is shocking because it's totally contrary to what they're being fed. Fish fed by by the mainstream is anger. They don't get it. So that the knee jerk is anger or fear. No reason to be afraid or angry. You just got to act on it. If you see what's going on, I think things become clear to you and the fear level drops the anxiety, level will drop. So I've had many people throughout the years who who have, who used to watch me. Then they stopped it. Greg, you know, what you said is actually making sense to me now. So I'm back here and now it makes sense to me. And I love that. I'm sure you get this evening. Yeah. And you know, one of the things that you said is how it's sold. Because one of the things that is a personal pet peeve of mine is they'll make a statement, but there's absolutely zero to back it up. Like they're just making this statement. Like that's a matter of fact. And people just swallow it, 